Oh, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be swatching the three BH Cosmetic blush palettes that I recently got from their truffle collection. I guess that's what it's called. I don't know. But I have chocolate cherry truffle. I have vanilla orange truffle. And I also have vanilla cream truffle. Okay, I am very excited. Ah! I'm very excited to try these. Um, like I mentioned in my haul video, I have been having, I have been having, wow. I have had my eye on these um, for a while, like kind of when they first came out, but I just kind of forgot about them. Didn't need to do it on purpose, but then all of a sudden I randomly go on BH Cosmetics website and they had these palettes that were 40% off. So I was like, you know what? Since I'm here, I'll, I'll, I'll get them. So I only grabbed these three palettes. I was going to go ahead and get all of them, but I realized some of them where it's like, it's either really not going to show up on my skin or it is too dark. And I'm like, girl, no, but I could also be wrong where it's like, oh, maybe the darker ones were actually a little bit more tame. They just put a lot on their swatches on the website so that you can see the color, but it's like, please do it realistically because that scared the mess out of me. But I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for y'all here so then y'all can make a decision also I can make a final decision for myself too. So I'm going to go ahead with this first palette, Vanilla Cream. So these are the shades right here if you can see them. Um, Just on first initial look, I feel like for me I would probably only use these three right here. Probably gravitate more towards these two that would show up more on me. But this one looks like it's not going to show up at all on me but i have recently tried you know some blushes that are like very light and they have worked on me so we don't know so i'm gonna go ahead with this shade right here i'm going to swatch it on my arm oh this is so oh this is nice this feels very silky silky oh okay so that does show up this is very pale i'm just gonna go ahead and do this I hope y'all could see this. I really do. I really hope y'all can see it. Okay, so that's what the first shade in this palette looks like. It does show up, but I'm not a huge fan of this kind of blush on me. Um, maybe it will work for a certain look, but for like every day, no, I need something with a little bit more color. So I'm gonna go with the next shade. Um, next shade to it. Ooh, okay. Oh wow. Ooh, okay, I like this one. All right, so that is the next shade. Once again, I hope y'all can see it. But I like this one. It's still like a little bit too light, but I feel like if you use just like a little bit, this is more of like a everyday blush. It, look, it is so pretty. Wow, wow, BH. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to the shade at the bottom of the first shade. These don't have any names. Um, it's only literally the name of the palette, so. Which I think the name of the palette actually has like, you know, a good theme to it. So, I mean, yeah, I guess. Okay, so that's that one right here. Hold on, I'm trying to drag this down more. So that's the third shade, the one that's under the first shade. Um, I feel like it's very similar to the first shade. I mean, it's a little bit darker, but there's something about it where it's like, mm, I don't know, I really wouldn't wear it all that much. And then I'm going to the very last shade, which definitely looks like a blush that I would wear a lot more. And there's the very last shade right here. I would definitely choose this one to wear every day. I'd definitely choose this one to wear every day because it's just a little bit darker and I feel like it would definitely like show up but it kind of just like reminds me of one of the elf blushes and their quads that i already wear so that's why i would choose this one more um over these so i mean these aren't bad though they show up i just probably wouldn't wear this one as much though all right on to the next palette next i'm going to go in swatch vanilla orange truffle I'm really liking this one right here. I feel like, especially for every black girl, get a orange blush, girl. You will not be disappointed. Orange blush looks amazing on us. 
just saying orange blush is the goat um but i'm gonna go in with the very first shade right here it looks super like girl like put some shimmer in this and this is a highlight but how is that <laughs> what is that okay so it's right here i highly doubt you could see it um literally girl this is like an under eye highlight shade on me i don't see how this one would work at all i mean it's pretty it has like some sort of a sheen to it so it's like i could potentially use it for something like maybe an eyeshadow but as a blush absolutely not this is ain't going nowhere um, so i'm gonna try the next shade right next to it Ooh, these are just so nice and so oh this is such a rich color yes look at that that is beautiful okay so that's the next shade right here it's a very very rich color it may be like a little too dark or i might just it's more like i'm a little bit too scared to wear this color but it is pretty oh my goodness i could potentially use this as a bronzer maybe because it has like kind of a red undertone so it's like if i was in a pinch then i could probably use it for a bronzer but let's go on with the one under the first shade Ooh, this is pretty man these are really soft Ooh, this one actually has gold flecks in it okay, so there is this shade right here it's an orange it has gold flecks in it it has more of like a pink in it as well but it's very very pretty if summer was still here this would be a nice pretty summer color but summer's gone now Woo! well i mean like on the calendar summer is gone but it's still hot okay <laughs> so now i'm gonna go in with the very last shade which is a nice orange oh this is gorgeous all right so there is the last shade if you can see it do you see how pretty that is? That is such a pretty orange. I love this. It has a little bit, like a little bit of gold flecks in it, but oh, it is so pretty. I will literally use these three shades and I don't know, I'll figure out something for the first shade, but these three right here, these are my shades. I love these. I just realized that I could have probably put these on my chest so y'all could see better, but I just don't want to repeat of that foundation video on to the next blush palette last but not least i have chocolate cherry truffle so this is it right here i feel like i don't know i feel like with the name chocolate cherry this will be darker of course they have like other palettes that were much darker but once again me being scared seeing those swatches but now so far seeing how those two performed i might go back and get the rest of them um not sure so yeah these are the shades once again that top shade is like why are you here like who are you actually for i don't understand and i'm more gravitated towards the darker one but i'm also gravitated towards this one actually just these three in general i would use more i would use definitely over this one but let's go yeah no that i don't who is that for okay literally don't know why i'm even showing you because you're not going to be able to see it but the first shade is on my arm you don't see it do you all right okay on to the next one going on to the next shade right next to the first one. Ooh, okay this one's nice all right so there is the next shade to it that's a very pretty color i like that i would definitely wear that especially since it has like a little bit of luminosity to it like when i want to look a little bit more glowy then i would definitely choose this one because it is a definitely a good shade too now on to the uh one under the first shade oh dang that is such a hot pink all right so there is that third shade that is a hot pink oh if you love pink you would love this i feel like this one would be cool also like on the lips you just like pack it on and then put some gloss over it i think this will be a very pretty color but this is nice i don't really wear hot pinks but i would gravitate kind of towards these two colors of course with the first one but that is very very pretty now on to the last shade in the palette whoa that is a that's a it's pink but that's more of a pale pink that's on me oh i don't know about that one okay, so and there is i hope you can see it but there is the last shade that is like a really pale pink i don't know if i would wear something like that 
I mean, it shows up though, so that's nice. I literally can't tell that I have four blushes on here. It literally looks like I only have three. But yeah, so that's the last one in Chocolate Cherry. I feel like this, this is, I feel like this is the wrong name for this one. The other two, I feel like the names are right on, but this one is like Chocolate Cherry. I don't see any hint of a chocolate in this one. So also, I forgot to mention that these palettes are $12 each. And like I said, I got them on sale. They were like, I believe it was like 40% off, so... But do I feel like they are worth $12? I feel like you just have to find the right palette that works for you. And I feel like it will be worth $12. But one thing I will say, I don't like the pan size of these. I think they're just a little bit too small. Because not all blush brushes are really small. Let me try to find mine. Okay, so this is my BH Cosmetics blush brush from their Royal Affair collection. And it's like barely fitting in there i'm not actually in the product but it's like barely gonna fit in there i like my blush like palettes or blush palettes or at least like blush products to be a little bit bigger i mean like of course if i want it bigger then i'm gonna have to buy them individually like this is the elf one and this is a much bigger pan size for this brush and i really like that maybe i just need to check out their individual blushes if they have any and see if that is more worth of a go for me um, but I feel like definitely you could find a blush palette on here from BH Cosmetics that would better fit your skin tone. Um, I'm thinking about going back and getting the rest of them so then, you know, I could swatch them because these swatches online are kind of like, they're intense and like these blushes aren't like crazy intense, you know? Because on the website, they're showing chocolate cherry and this one right here on the website is showing up more like orange and they have like a, a lighter skin model and like a darker model on here and it's showing up more of like a not really an orange it's more like a brick red in a way but like it doesn't look like a brick red am i this is the right one yeah chocolate cherry and they're showing this one it looks more like muted but this one is more like a barbie pink so yeah now i'm definitely thinking about getting the rest so then like i could show y'all really what these look like because on a website it's not looking the same all right so i hope y'all enjoyed that video if you did please give it a like also comment down below have you tried anything from bh cosmetics have you tried these blushes do you want me to go ahead and get the rest so then y'all could see like a realistic swatch of these okay um because i'll go ahead and do that if you are subscribed please click that notification bell so you get notified every time i post and if you are not subscribed please do because we're trying to get to 2000 subscribers all right i'm gonna go and make hot dogs because i finished all my videos all right bye it's hot dog time